so many opportunities for like poop jokes that I'm not taking. Aww. Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade. It's me, Marianne, and I am kicking things off with a burning question. What is everyone doing with all the toilet paper? Actually, wait, don't answer that. I know exactly what everyone's doing with all the toilet paper. But everyone just seems to be buying so much toilet paper, which if you're like me and you're a craft hoarder means you're gonna end up with lots and lots of these toilet paper rolls. Does anyone else hold on to these? Like, what am I waiting for? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make some seriously cute wall decor out of toilet paper rolls. Seriously, all you need are toilet paper rolls, hot glue, and a little spray paint. And you can make this beautiful geometric wall art basically free. So that's enough talk out of me. I better go put this back in the bathroom before my family starts looking for it. You know, when I was thinking about this project, what really was motivating me was two things. One, I had dozens and dozens of toilet paper rolls. Two, I keep finding myself taking on these super complicated projects and I needed a break. I wanted something that would be easy and satisfying, but like still worth spending your time on. Enter the humble toilet paper roll. So the first thing we're going to do to get started on our wall art is we're going to flatten all of the toilet paper rolls. Just do this with your hands. It's another thing I love about this. You don't really need a lot of special tools. We're just gonna flatten them, kind of rub your fingers down each side, and we're going to get a shape like this. The technical geometry term for this is a lens shape. Go ahead and flatten all of your toilet paper rolls. Now, for this project, you don't need a specific amount. This is the kind of thing, as you'll see, that you can make as big or as small as you want. So you can always get started, you decide you want to make it bigger, just, you know, wait a couple weeks, there's always going to be more toilet paper rolls. Now, I measured and a toilet paper roll is just under four inches long. I kind of played with it a little bit and figured out that you can get about seven half inch wide strips out of each roll. So that's what we're gonna do next. Grab a sharp pair of scissors, you really want good scissors for this because two layers of cardboard cutting through that, it's a little hard, so like, give yourself a break. I'm not gonna like be too picky with this, but remember, you should be able to get about seven strips per roll. You just want everything to be like relatively uniform. It certainly does not have to be perfect. Um, once it's all glued together, as you'll see, it's a very forgiving shape that we're going to put together. All right, so once you have a good pile of these cut out, and again, you really, you want like a good amount. This is just enough to get started, but if you wanna make a pretty big wall hanging, you're gonna want at least like 16 to 24 toilet paper rolls. Just slide this over and grab six. All toilet paper rolls are about the same size, so that's really all that matters, and you can use um, paper towel rolls for this as well. You'll just get a lot more of these shapes out of one of those. Okay, so we're just gonna make a daisy shape with six of these little toilet paper roll rings. I highly recommend using a glue gun for this. You can use regular glue, but you're going to have to use, I don't know, clothespins or something to keep the pieces together until it dries. We're just going to put together our center daisy shape using six of these toilet paper rings. And that shape is the foundation for the wall art. We are going to be making a classic design called a flower of life. And it is just a repeating flower shape. So from here, you really just start adding more rings. And pretty quickly, it becomes obvious like how this is going to take shape. Now, as you're doing this, you can make it, you know, a very defined shape, or you can kind of keep it loose and organic, which is the look I'm going for. All 
right, I've got two left, but you know, it's like they say, every great artist has to know when to stop, right? This is looking really cool. Now I'm just gonna take it outside. I'm gonna put it on a piece of scrap cardboard and I'm going to spray paint it. When you're spray painting this, you want to do thin, even coats. If you put too much on at once, it's going to drip and just not look as nice. And let them dry completely in between coats. It's gonna take a little patience, but trust me, it's going to be worth it in the end. Once your wall art is completely dry, you can hang it using thumbtacks, a couple of small finishing nails, or even some removable mounting adhesive. Guys, I cannot believe how cool that turned out and how honestly satisfying it was to make. I wanna hear from you guys. Have you ever tried a toilet paper roll craft? Let me know in the comments down below. and Maybe I'll make one of your ideas next time. I'm just gonna to have to wait a while. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.